It's Sunday, August 27th, 2023. Time for another fireside chat with Dizzy. And there she is, the fuzzy little puppy. And yes, we are out at the farm. And in case you're wondering about the stump that I had burning, um, cutting the slits in it last week definitely worked. I didn't bother to put the fire out because there wasn't any flames, it was just coals, it was dead calm out. I figured it would just burn itself out and I'd probably be lighting the stump up again tonight. Well, I got there on Monday morning everything had burned up but the stump was still smoldering. I figured, well, it'll go out sometime today. Well, it didn't. I got out there Tuesday morning. It was way reduced. But it was still smoldering. And I get out here on Tuesday night and it was completely gone. So I now have another piece of the stump in there. It's not as big. I will be going back to using my other fire ring. Uh, taking this one back home. But before I use the other one, I need to clean it up some and paint it. Um, it has rust flaking off of it, and I don't really want to put that out in the horse field. So I have a large piece of cardboard that I'll put it on, and I'll scrape all the rust off of it and paint it, and just that piece of cardboard will go straight in the trash. Let's see, I did get, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I do have the rope up. So that I know I'm not going to be bothered by any horses tonight. Callie's different. She's allowed in here. She doesn't come up and rub against the chair and almost knock me out of it like Misty did last week. Speaking of Misty, she is still limping. The farrier has never come out. I am not very happy about it. But if I am able to move when I want to, I only will have him coming out one more time. Uh going to be talking to the lady that I need to get some lessons from. She does have lesson horses and I will probably just use one of the lesson horses so that I can at least get back in the saddle. And then if I am able to ride Misty before I leave then yeah she'll be getting worked with a lot. Didn't work with licorice either. Um, I'd been going to but if you watched my video from my from yesterday about taming my yard jungle in my yard and I might have even mentioned it on the one where I talked about flipping my field uh, my back has been out I was just barely able to do any regular work I did get some of the yard done I did get some of the basement done but I wasn't going to try to work with a horse there was just no way I could I was just in too much pain I had at first thought I pulled a muscle. It wasn't until later on Thursday that I realized that my back was out. And by then it was too late to call to get an appointment with a chiropractor. I have an appointment on Tuesday anyway, so I'll just go then. But anybody that's had their back out, they may have experienced some of the things that I did. Could only get dressed sitting down. Normally it was on the toilet. Um, it was difficult to wash my feet was able to get that done but it wasn't easy getting into the car was not easy because I could not just get in it normal I was basically having to back up to the seat sit down reach up and grab the roof and between grabbing the roof and putting my other hand on the seat able to maneuver myself to where I could get my right leg in which I actually had to pick up to get it up high enough and then my left leg was okay it's my right hip that's out getting in bed was not easy either uh, I had special music in church today I had to change the song that I was playing because I could not sit at the piano long enough to play the other one and yeah I did mess up some but it, I only started practicing it on Thursday so it didn't do too bad for that but it was a shorter song. I didn't need to use as much pedal, so... Eh, church is pretty understanding. They could tell just by the way that I was moving that I had a problem. And I had people asking me after church. So... Chickens. Let's see. I will be, and I kind of hate to do this tonight. I will be... 
it's shutting up two of the chicken houses, taking the feed out and making it so that the only place that the hens have to lay is in some of the broody boxes that I had made for temporary ones. I will be bringing the eggs out tomorrow. I have three hens, so I'll be bringing the eggs out in the morning and putting them under the hens. And they should be hatched within the next two, three days. Once they're hatched, of course, I'll get the hens moved where they belong. The one hen, she's only getting like two eggs. I don't really trust her because, like I said, when I she's never successfully raised a batch of chicks, and the last time she attacked a chick and killed it after it, right after it hatched. So I don't want to try more than that. If she raises them, that's fine. If not, then I know to mark her as never again with chicks. The other two that are getting eggs are Laverne and Shirley. Uh, they may or may not share a broody box. I will be putting one of the little ones in the broody pen. And if they want to be in their own separate ones, they can. If they want to share one, they can. Right now it does have some chicks. They're going to be getting moved into the grow out pen over here. And some of the ones that I have in there will be going to my house, just not tonight. I'm hoping that I have my chief back on Tuesday. Because I'm not really wanting to carry chickens in the rental that I have. And uh, we're supposed to get rain on Tuesday. So I wouldn't be able to take the truck to do it. Because I'd be wanting to put that in the back. Don't really have room in the cab with the way I've got it set up for Cali. So, but we'll see. But that's about it for me for this week. I've got a nice fire going and have quite a bit of wood to throw on it. And I don't know if anybody's going to be joining me or not. I did have a friend ask if I was still doing the fires. Told her I was. I haven't heard from her. So I brought extra marshmallows and whatnot just in case she shows up. So I will be talking at you later.